Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, how much I have missed you, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So today, if you can't tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a perfume collection video. It's not all perfumes, cause I'm trying to level up my perfume collection right now. So right now it's only, and my watch is all the way to the side. I'm sorry y'all, this watch is too big on me. Um, I only have mainly body sprays, but that's because I was, most of these have been collected over years. Like, this is like years worth of stuff. So, mind you, I just turned 19. So, it's going to take some time to get to the grown woman smells. That's what we're getting into right now. But most of these are going to be body mist from like Bath and Body Works, Forever, not Forever 21, um, Victoria's Secret, Pink, all that. So, before we even get into the video we're gonna go right on ahead with my sponsorship baby dossier if that's how you pronounce it i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it um i've worked with them before actually which one of their scents is in this video baby when i put these smells on i tried them out probably like a week or two ago near my birthday and i was totally in love with them now i'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the box first of all look at the packaging it's too cute and it comes with the card so you can see exactly what it is that you're um getting in your perfume so first we're gonna go with the fruity magnolia and this is what the packaging looks like um go ahead and if it'll help Mm, almost there yeah okay so this one and i don't know if you guys know this i don't know if you've seen my video but one thing that i really love about them is that their tops are magnetic that's not really important but i just feel like it's super cute so we're gonna go ahead and read the card so this is the fruity magnolia like i said and it's inspired by the versace bright crystal now i actually have the versace bright crystal well i had and this smells literally exactly exactly like it like <laughs> it smells exactly like it and it's so light like i'm gonna put this one on we're gonna wear these like it smells like something you would wear like to brunch like these smells i got two of them these smells are super airy and light one of them smells like something you would wear out to like a brunch and the other one smells like something you would put on maybe after you get out the shower this one is the one that i feel like smells like you would wear it after the shower it smells super duper good and just so you guys can know i'm not really big on the notes of the perfumes i honestly just care about what it smells like not what's in it but just in case you are this has top notes of pomegranate yuzu aquatic accord middle notes of magnolia peony and rose and then base notes of amber musk acaju wood and acaju wood okay and the concentration is 18. this one the floral peony it's inspired by the chloe perfume i've never smelled that before so i'm gonna have to try that out to see if this is a close dupe but um the notes are peony lychee or lychee lily and middle notes rose magnolia and freesia if i'm saying that right and then base notes of musk cedarwood and honey and the concentration on this one is 15. now let me just see if this is the one that smells like a shower scent yeah this one to me smells like something you would put on after the shower so you smell real good and then put the other one on top of it and speaking of one on the other these two scents right here are definitely two things that you could layer layering 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 when you're trying to smell good especially because a whole bunch of body mists and perfumes for women do not last long at all layering is definitely something that you want to do put one on after the shower put some lotion on on top of that and then put the other one on right before you're getting ready to go throw them in your purse so you can re-up when you need to and then boom you're good baby so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get into my personal collection that I've been building up for the past, I don't even know how many years. Okay, I'm going to move my purse. So first I'm going to start with like the, I don't know, I'm going to go from like kitty to grown if that makes any sense. So this one right here is the cool and bright. As you can see, I barely use this. I don't really like the way it smells. It was it was given to me from my mom because she didn't like the way it smells, so then she gave it to me, but I kind of don't like the way it smells. It's just kind of like a breezy thing. Like, you can use this after you shower if you want to smell like linen and stuff like that. Like, that's kind of the vibes that it gives me. Next, we have... Let me see what I can do next. I'm going to do these because these ones are very baby scented. I don't know. This is the Pure Seduction Shimmer. I thought this was going to smell better, but it smells like... I don't know how to explain it. Let me see. 
yeah it smells like fruity i don't really like too much of a fruity smell i like to smell like like floral i'm not a fan of fruity this is kind of what that smells like it has the shimmers in it i got this in 2019 and you see i barely use it if i use it i use it for the shimmers i thought it was gonna smell different because i had pure seduction when i was younger and i don't this don't smell the same to me i don't know if you guys have ever gone through that where you have something like very very long ago and then you get it again it just doesn't smell the same it smells like a, like i said like fruit then we have the bare vanilla shimmer this one right here it smells like bare vanilla like people really like the smell i don't like it like that i really don't i don't know i grow out of smells very quickly now a thousand wishes i most of these disclaimer some of these don't have caps i lose my caps very frequently don't mind that at all i don't know where it's at um probably somewhere hidden i don't know but this is a thousand wishes i just recently got this let me see real quick yeah, I love this. This kind of has a fruity smell, but it definitely has more floral tones on top of it instead of the fruity smell. So this is definitely a go-to. I keep this one in my car. I just have it out right now, but this is usually in my car along with my other A Thousand Wishes set. And I have this, the lotion, and then the hand sanitizer. I keep this in my car at all times just in case I forget my perfumes in my purse. Okay, this one actually has a funny story behind it. I was on TikTok, and mind you, I got this, ooh, like maybe two, not maybe not even two maybe three to four years ago and i was like mm, i really love the smell of this like it smells super good now if you also know me as a person i used to be the type of person to like to date people that was younger than me and my friends and anybody who knew me who knew i was dating the people that were younger than me like not young young but like you know me being like 16 i date somebody who's like a grade below me so like 15 16 years old so Basically, I was on TikTok and somebody was making a video about cougars and then they was like, this is the old, like the OG cougar smell. So I thought that was super funny and made me not want to use this anymore and I'm probably not going to use it anymore. It's probably like a third of the way done. I don't really use it that often. I got it from Rainbow. Like it was probably like $5, but yeah, I just thought that was a really funny backstory. Okay, next we're going to go into warm vanilla sugar. I'm actually not a fan of warm vanilla sugar anymore. I used to be a huge fan, as you can see, but no longer am I a fan of it. It's not the best smell to me. It's very wintry, like fall type of smell, but it's not really my cup of tea. Next, we have Frosted Coconut Snowball. I actually love using this after I get out of the shower. Um, super... I don't know it smells definitely like coconut and coconut smells I love the smell of coconut I hate the taste of coconut if anybody else is like me let me know because I really hope I'm not tripping coconut tastes absurd but it smells super good like I love coconut oil all that stuff but I cannot eat anything coconut related okay these are all what I consider to be like my grown smells like these are like strong floral scents yeah basically that's all I'm gonna say about that um this is can can burlesque by paris hilton this is almost gone i don't know if you can see it's like right here and this is how big the thing is it's almost gone i've had this for a very long time as you can see top missing it everything um i don't really even know how to say how this smells yeah it's like a floral scent kind of like roses it smells like roses definitely this is my all-time favorite if you don't know what this is this is forever red it's discontinued by bath and body works and i used to get this all the time when i was younger so i made my girlfriend get it for me for my birthday um last year and i rarely use it because of how much i love it because i don't want it to go away just in case they like take away the discontinued like items altogether. because even though it's discontinued they don't sell it in stores but they still sell it online so this is definitely my favorite um i'm gonna do like expensive last okay so no that's definitely okay so next is the dossier um perfume this one has top notes of rangoon creeper jasmine sandbox tuba rose and iris um this is inspired by the gucci bloom perfume i think i did a video on this probably like some months ago super good smelling love it 10 out of 10 okay this is my newest Grown woman smell. It's the bombshell intense. Where's the top? I don't quite know right now. Probably somewhere in my purse. But this right here is my favorite. I'm making my girlfriend buy me a bombshell um perfume, like the actual perfume, not the body spray, um for Christmas. Ten out of a hundred out of 
10. This is amazing. It smells super duper good. Very grown woman. And it's one of those mists that lasts for a long time. Like it won't just go away. Okay. Now we're getting to the more expensive. Oh, I lied. I lied. Okay. <laughs> so lastly, we have this. I got this last year. Um, it doesn't have a little thing where I can see how much is left in it, but by the way it's looking probably like this much left i don't use too much of it i love this smell i got it in a candle i had it in the 24 hour um moisturizing body wash the regular body wash sorry my dad had came downstairs but yeah i think i was left talking about this one right here i love it 10 out of 10 maybe 100 out of 10 but yeah i have this in literally every type of scent that it can be and yep that's about it for this one now we're gonna get into the ones that cost a lot and i don't have very many and one of these is my mother's i'm solely using it for the purpose of this video okay so the first one i'm gonna go with is one that my mom gave to me because she didn't like the way it smelled but i love the way this smells this is the kkw perfume i don't know if it has an actual name or if it's just the kkw perfume i have not even taken the time to go look it up but i love it 10 out of 10 i carry this with me on every trip that i go to if i'm going out of town i always have this on me period sorry my parents keep coming out of their room and they talk loud okay um next is this beyonce heat me and my mom have had this for i literally whenever beyonce heat came out let me go look actually because that's a very good question This says it came out in 2010. I don't know if we didn't have it that long, but we definitely didn't have this a very long time. And this is the, the, which one? The orange one? I don't know. Is it like Pulse or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Which one is it called? It's, it's the pink one. Uh, he Wild Orchid. Okay, yeah, this is what this is. This smells amazing. There's one of them that smells like a grandma. Let me make sure this isn't it because I'm pretty sure this one smells good no this one smells good i don't know one of those smells like grandma the other one is good i don't know which one it is but this one smells amazing next i don't even know if this is expensive i mean i didn't buy it so i wouldn't even know let me see real quick oh yeah this is pretty expensive <laughs> okay next is my carolina herrera perfume um this is the good girl one I think this is just the regular one. I got it from my mother in law. Not yet, but soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, this smells amazing. This is my favorite grown woman scent. I keep this on me. I keep it in my purse with me. I take it everywhere with me. I haven't been keeping it with me recently because I just got um this one, but when I don't have this one, I have this one. And then this is the I don't know what the difference between them is. I'm getting ready to look that up right now. I said I was going to do it beforehand. Um, is there a difference? This is the Supreme. Okay, so this is the little one, though. This is my mommy's. Um, yeah, this is the Supreme. I don't really, I don't know if I like the way this smells, actually. Let me see. Oh, no, this actually, this actually smells really good. I actually like this better than mine. <laughs> this one has kind of like a berry type of smell like in it plus the like i don't know th this smell is super sweet like the other ones are kind of like strong and like grown and these ones are like sweet and grown like you'll smell real nice and like mm, let me just eat you up tight like that's that's what these are giving okay and with that being said that's going to be the end of this video i'm probably going to do another video pretty soon because i'm going to be getting more perfumes for myself i want to get the ysl perfume i want to get the dior perfume i want to get the bombshell perfume that i just told you guys about and any other expensive perfume that you guys have that i should get comment it down below because i need to get more because i need to up myself y'all know when you smell good you just feel good you feel grown you feel like you can conquer the world like stuff like that i don't like feeling like no little girl when i'm wearing perfume i don't like my perfume to go away i want people to be like mm, you smell good what are you using be getting complimented on how you smell is top 10 num out of the 10 is the number one compliment that you can ever get at any time you could be looking terrible outside but if somebody be like you smell good what you got it'll just increase your mood like am i wrong i don't know 
but with all that being said that's going to be the end of this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you have not already follow my socials which i'm going to put on the screen right around here and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.